everybody welcome back to super tech services this is Brian and we got another video for you today's video we have the Canon image class MF 753 now let's get it unboxed and check it out quick break from the videos guys check out our website for our all-new eBay store with remanufactured fusing units and other parts amazing also, we got a merch store. More items will be added later. Back to the video. And here is the Canon Color Image Class MF 753 CDW features print, scan, copy, and fax. Print speeds up to 35 pages per minute in both black and white and color. Resolution up to 1200 by 1200 DPI. And it's got a fast print time, approximately seven seconds before you can send your first print in black and white or in color. Uh, the paper capacity is expandable up to 850 sheets with the standard capacity of 300 sheets and 200 sheet tray if you would like to add that. Automatic document feeder gives you 50 sheet capacity as well. And the media type support letter and up to legal, which is very cool. I'll show you that in a minute. Connectivity is USB, Ethernet, and Wi-Fi. You got mobile printing like AirPrint and Mopria Print, direct printing as well. Scan speeds up to 40 images per minute. And you got your build dimensions, which is 16.8 inches by 18.2 by 17, and it weighs 48.5 pounds. Now let's get into it with the feeder. So you just slide out this nice tray here. 50 pages can go right through the top there for scanning and copying. On the top here, you have a nice glass. So make sure you keep that slit glass clean here. Also this section here. So if you'd like to scan here or copy as well, you have the glass. You also have a nice adjustable five inch touch screen, which is very nice as well. USB on the front for printing and scanning. Power button here. And then you, here's your first tray. And it's cool because you can actually expand this tray out. Which is very nice. And you could use this here, this tab to adjust as well. Now we're gonna just wait for the printer to boot up. I'm just gonna show you, you also have a nice tray here that is adjustable as well. So you can put in legal documents and letter documents as well and just expand that out like so. The printer looks really nice. Got a nice touch screen there. We'll go through that little menu in just a minute. Now let me flip it onto its back and show you the back. All right, and on the back we have our fax section there. So you have your line input for your fax and our USB, which is under there. I'm just going to get that little sticker removed. So actually, let's do that now. So our USB and our Ethernet port as well. So you can print through both. And then on the back, your transport section here and fusing unit as well, which should be very easy to replace. All right, so that's the back. Here's our nice menu here. Let's see if it's touch screen. It seems like it is. That's very nice. Just hit OK. And then you can just set up your country or region. And then your times. And yes. OK. So you can do a little paper correction, which is correct. Load letter size in the drawer. Let's do that. So this is almost kind of running like a gradation type image, which is very nice. So it'll get everything nice and calibrated. Let's load some paper in the tray. You're going to want to make sure you adjust as well so that everything is nice and snug. As you can see, make sure there's no gaps here like we saw earlier using this tab so everything's nice and snug. Then we'll go ahead and print the image. Just hit start. So you're going to want to take out the sheet when it comes in, and then we'll lay it on top of the glass. 
Perfect. Now when this image comes out, you're just gonna put this right on top of the glass, just like so. Just like that, make sure it's nice and all the way to the top left. Then what I like to do is add a couple extra pages on top. It's just good practice so that it can really get that image scanned very nicely and it doesn't go through. Okay, let's throw some extra pages. Keeps everything nice and flat. Okay, go ahead and close and hit start scanning. Normally we run this multiple times. We'll see if it allows us to do more than one. Okay, great, the calibration is done. It didn't want us to do it another time, so that's fine. I guess one is enough, but you can always go back and rerun that if you would like. Now, let's just take a look at the menu before we start doing some prints. You can see you have your nice copy, fax scan, really nice menu up top, secure print, ID card copy, and you actually have custom presets you can do as well, media print if you'd like to print or scan, passport copy, that's great ID card. These are all nice functions that you would need in a home or office printer. So I really appreciate that they have those automatically included as presets, home button. So everything is pretty much right there. So what we're going to do now is get it networked. And like we said earlier, this can support ethernet cable, which is the preferred way that I use, but it is also a wireless printer as well. So it can connect to your wireless network. We'll test that out later as well. But if you do have an ethernet connection available, it is preferred to use that. All right, let's get started with the network. All right, so I'm networking the printer by plugging in an Ethernet, a live one, right to the back. And you see it's got some blinking lights, which is great. And the machine is now networked. It's got an IP address, and it is currently asking us to download the latest firmware. You should do this. I'm just, for the sake of the video, I'm not going to do it now. So the machine is networked, and what I'm going to do next is head over to my computer and download the drivers for this printer so that we can install it as a printer and get to printing. Okay, now we're just going to head over to the Canon website and just go over to where it says support and then you'll just type in your model name and you'll see it pop up so this is the color image class 753 just click on support and drivers and then you'll want to go to your operating system it can be Mac Linux or Windows it should auto detect as well and then just go ahead and select your version I'm on 15 I believe and next up this will be the areas that you have uh, that where you can download so earlier I downloaded the scanner driver and utilities for Mac I thought that would include the printer driver and it didn't so this one looks like it's recommended as well and this one actually says it has the printer driver as well so these two files will you'll need both if you want to use the scanner driver um, but if you don't want to use the scanner driver <coughs> excuse me you can just use the this one here the printer driver so let's download that one all right so now that that's done and downloaded let's just install and after this is done we will now be able to install it as a printer and then we can also use it as a scanner as well since i did both and this process should be the same as on a PC as well as a printer so just go down to printer and scanners and add printer now right at the beginning you'll see it here under bonjour but I like to set mine up with IP addresses because it uh, typically prints a little bit faster and then you can just have a name we'll just do Canon printer and you can see it already auto populates but let's just go to select software and just make sure type in Canon oh I was spelling Canon wrong the whole time and you can just select see the MFC 750 series there Canon is not two ends I'm sorry about that okay so we know that it auto populated so everything should be fine it did recognize the IP so we'll just go ahead and add. All right, so now let's just go ahead and do a test print and see how it looks. Woo-wee! 
Man, that's some good color for such a small printer. The resolution is fantastic. Very nice. So we set it up. We networked it. We got some good test prints out of it. We even calibrated it. I'll show you guys just the tray and everything. Last step, let's just connect this to my existing Wi-Fi and see if that works. And we'll wrap this video up. As for setting goes, we have this status monitor and these little network settings here. So you can go to status monitor and you have plenty of little settings here like air, uh, air information, notification, device information, copy print job, your TX and RX for your fax, and your network identification as well. You even see on the bottom your IP address. All this stuff is great to have right away, right at your fingertips. You don't even have to dive into the menu too much. All the information you need is there. You even have your network settings if you hit that button. And this is where we're gonna go ahead and enable the wireless printing option. So I disconnected the cable for the wired LAN. And I'm just going to select wireless LAN settings. Do you wanna enable? Yes. And in a minute it should pop up with all of the available networks in the area. I'll select mine, put your password in, and then we should be good to go. So there's my network there. And let me put my password in and I'll be right back. All right, let's see if this password takes the first time. And like I said, this could be done using the web UI. I just have not set that up right now. Okay, connected, great. Connection set. Okay, so we are now connected. Also shows at the bottom that the latest firmware update is available. And you can see at the bottom, you actually have your wires list settings there. And let's see if it gave us an IP address. Actually, the buttons can be really small. Status monitor. Ooh, when you want to slide, it could be a little weird. Okay, network information, IPv4. Okay, so we do have an IP address, and that is different from the one before. That is great. So, 192.168.2.160. So, same thing. You would just type that IP address into your printer. I mean, sorry, into your PC or your Mac, and you will be printing wireless as well, fully built in to the unit. All right, everybody, and we're going to go ahead and end this video today. We went over everything, the feeder the screen and the settings we went from wired printing and wireless it's checked out settings as well you can see you can use the manual bypass for any paper size here same thing here legal or letter down below if you want to change your toner bottles you just slide this right out just like so the drums are included as well great nice little multifunction printer very intuitive very easy to use and the design is very nice can't say anything bad about the printer so far uh, i like everything the remote ui you do got to set that up i will probably do that on a, a separate video so that we can access the splash page and do all the settings from a pc or mac because it's a lot easier when you do those from your computer but other than that this thing is fantastic we'll be testing it out further and making sure that this thing holds up but so far on first impressions it is fantastic thank you again for watching we will see you guys on the next video Bye bye